number one Iron Age booty daddy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Iron Age News Roundup. This is the weekly segment that I'm going to try to do for you guys that will show you the news of the week, the projects that are ending, some of the featured projects, and then some of the projects that I have checked out in the last week. So without any further ado, I want to say thank you to everyone. Last week, I mentioned in the video that these videos will get buried in the algorithm because they're not titled appropriate for the computer program. Well, it was one of those things that I was pretty nervous about, but you guys actually brought it over and got it a few hundred views, which for this small channel on a video that I'm worried about that's not going to get viewership, you guys turned out and shared it and you guys brought the people. If I can ask you to do that again, this time I know a lot of authors are reaching out there to the people that they know in the communities and a lot of authors and creators are sharing. Let's try to get this video in the hands of some fans out there so that way we can start bringing more fans of comic books and pop culture and video games. We've got one of those this week. To, so that way we can start growing this. But guys, I cannot stress this enough. You sharing that video last week gave me hope that this is something that I can continue to do in the future. And maybe if you guys continue to share it, it will kick the YouTube algorithm in the butt and say, hey, this is recommended for people who like this type of content. So without any further ado, guys, let's actually get into it. All right, over here on the newsroom segment, I guess, we're gonna go over to Hollywood in Toto. Now, Hollywood in Toto has been covering a lot of pop culture and Hollywood uh, movies for many years. In fact, I knew about him almost a decade ago when I heard him on a local talk radio show coming in once a week and doing a segment. It was actually one of my favorite segments that I heard uh, Christian, Christ, uh, the Christian Toto do. And the cool part is he did an interview with Luke Stone. Yes, that's right, the guy who built fund my comic. So to go check out that interview and see what Luke Stone was doing and how he got into this, go over to hollywoodintoto.com and understand that by going and visiting it, we're actually having an impact on pop culture because this is a massive website for pop culture news. I don't know if you guys have never heard of Hollywood in Toto. The guy is pretty big and it's pretty huge that he ended up doing something with Luke Stone of Fund My Comic. So if you guys want to go, links are down in the description. Oh, and by the way, if you want to see my interview that we did on Iron Age Nights with Luke Stone Studios, go to the ADWC Replay channel and go check out Iron Age Nights featuring Luke Stone. It was absolutely awesome. All right, Eric July just wrapped up the ISOM 2 campaign yesterday. He did a big stream. He had the Saska sisters on. He had members of his team on. Just, I cannot tell you guys how awesome it is to see the enthusiasm around this how that is how the ripperverse company is growing and the moves that they are making and getting some of the best talent that has been there creating these books guys they closed out the official pre-order campaign at 2.3 million dollars but as announced from eric july never fear there will also be a way for you to pick up cover d's and the mass print options that they will have for isom 2 so if you missed out on the pre-order campaign never fear you will have your chance to get isom two in the future so go to the ripperverse.com and check that out now this one's kind of out of left field but follow me on this that's your left this is it's my right your left and this is my left anyway this one's kind of out of left field guys this is a channel that i've been following for a long time this is dave cullen now he was kicked out of youtube a long time ago because he ran a channel called computing forever he's back with his show the dave cullen show where he talks about a lot of pop culture he did a video yesterday called Rebuilding Pop Culture and very much talked about what we need to rebuild pop culture and get back to the place where pop culture is fantastic again. He really talked to people about creating their own things, going out, striking on your own. And if you're not quite sure about how you want to, if you can do your own story, just go and do it. Well, I would like to add one thing to that um, that I think Dave may have missed out on 
We also need fans to come out and break away from the mainstream as well. We need not only creators to take a leap of faith, but we also need the fans to take a leap of faith as well. But regardless, Dave Cullen did a fantastic video breaking down how to rebuild and what we should be thinking about when rebuilding pop culture. So go check that video out. It's absolutely fantastic. All right, now another guy that I've had on the channel to interview, TJ Marquis, an absolutely fantastic author. You should go check out some of his books. But he does a segment every single week called The Indie Scan, where he breaks down everything that he's seeing throughout the week and what he is recognizing with the independent movement. So the link to his YouTube channel is down below, and he's going to go through and cover just a bunch of books and comics and various different projects out there that are going to let you guys know where to go to get your nerd on. That was terrible. Don't ever let me say stuff like that again. Don't, don't. That was bad. What's next? The next thing up on the list for the news this week is over on ironage.media the submission window to submit your stories and your artwork and everything that you want to do to anvil number three that window's getting small guys so if you've got something that you haven't submitted to anvil three and you want to get into the magazine to get your stuff your art your stories in front of other people You've got to go over to ironage.media, click on that little button that says the magazine updates, and scroll down to find out how you can submit to Anvil number three. Again, that window's getting small. I'm not quite sure how much longer Richard's going to leave it up, but if you guys want to get in over there, as Eric July says, get in where you fit in, and hopefully we will see you guys in Anvil number three. All right, to wrap up the news of the week, we're going to go back and we're going to visit Periopsis Press this week. Periopsis Press, Katie Room, runs an unbelievably fantastic review channel, everybody. This is, well, channel website. She reviews a book every single week from sci-fi and fantasy. This week, her review is The Garden Maze by Isaac Anderson. Now, never fear. Whenever you go and to periopsispress.com and you see a review up on her website, you know that that's a book that she likes because she only puts the energy and time to review a book if she likes it, which means that if she likes it, you might as well. Not only that, she does some of the most awesome breakdowns in her reviews that I've ever seen. The way that she categorizes them, how she gets into it. I'm telling you right now, these are some of the best reviews out there for indie books, period. So go and check it out. Give Periopsis Press the traffic over there and see what books she is loving to read. All right, guys, let's get into the Fund My Comic section this week. We are going to check out a few of the projects or just look at them very quickly uh, on the featured page. So that's that homepage. You type in fundmycomic.com. You're going to go there. It's going to load and you're going to scroll down and you're going to see a whole bunch of featured projects. Now, there are featured projects there that were the same ones from last week. So I scrolled down the page just a little more to bring you guys something new because, well, I feel that that's a fair way to do it. And it's my channel and I make the rules. It's my ball and I'll take it home if I want to. So over here, we've got Glenn in Monsterland that is working on funding right now. That is a comic book for kids. This artwork looks absolutely fantastic absolutely fantastic you have got to go and check out glenn in monster land um plus comic books for kids if you guys have younger children that you're looking at again can't say anything more than that next up we've got something that doesn't look kid friendly but this is bloodwig fire fist angel uh screwed by the gods as well as the fool number one from arrow comics and then out of obscurity so those are four more featured projects on the homepage of Fund My Comic right now. And hopefully you guys are able to go and check those out. And if they uh, wet your whistle a little bit, go check them out. Go, go, go give these guys, go give these guys some of your money to support them if you can, because I know that they would appreciate it. All right, next up, we've got the ending soon. Ending soon is Iron Age Magazine, Anvil number two. So, yes, I just talked about the submission window for Anvil number three. That's going to come out, I believe, early next year, if I'm not mistaken. But Anvil number two, the fall edition, 
is going that that window is closing in four days over on fund my comics so if you guys are interested in checking out anvil number two go and give that a look and uh go support it guys there's four days left and honestly i'm like richard has been killing it with this the wit the team that he has working on it is absolutely fantastic and from what i heard is he uh he made sure to put in he made sure to put in a lot of new creators for you guys to check out. So if you're interested in finding new creators, Anvil number two, that's the where you got to go. Also, closing out this week, we have Watcher of the Damned. This is from R.H. Snow. Now, I'm rather surprised to see that she has not quite funded yet. And the reason that I'm surprised to see it is because everybody that I have talked to who has read her other Watcher in the Damned are un they, they they can't stop talking about it they literally can't they 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 they're like man th this woman just knows how to speak to people and she does because we've had her on the show but guys there's four days left she needs 500 dollars to complete her goal she's at 276 right now so if you guys want to go over there and help mrs rh snow and i'm telling you guys right now she's unbelievably fantastic you got to check out iron age knights number 18 featuring her we did an interview i'm going to tell you right now the woman will change your life just talking to her she's that fantastic and i absolutely believe that you guys should go and help her fund her project all right finally closing out we've got hojo and the the mythicals guys the mythicals uh he uh, he did reach his funding goal he's been killing it he's been absolutely getting passed around uh in the podcast world in this world with a bunch of different comic book creators and got a lot of big shout outs hojo has probably the best trailer for it's an animated trailer for his book that i have ever seen it's unbelievably well done i love it it is my favorite it is funny it definitely made me laugh and I had a good time with it, and it told me that this guy was someone who was fun to listen to, fun to talk to. I definitely think that his project is going to hit home for a lot of you. You guys got to go and check this out. There's only a few days left, uh, as far as I know. I believe the 31st is when this one closes out. So go and check out Hojo and the Mythicals on Fun My Comic. All right, and finally, out of obscurity from Luke Stone Studios and Frost Comics. Um out of obscurity is getting ready to close out as well i've got two days left they have funded and but they have said that they would really like to push even further to get their story out of obscurity into more hands of people because i think that's what every creator wants to do is get their stuff into more hands of people which by the way guys if you would like me to get into the hands of more people subscribe to the channel please actually wait how do i say that i say like the video subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell for me. <laughs> All right, YouTuber isms aside, let's move into the final segment of the show. And this is something that if you guys are already watching my channel, especially on Wednesdays, you've already seen these projects, but this is what I was able to cover last week on my Wednesday comic shop live stream. So this is a web comic. First up, Black Noblis. Guys, this is an absolutely fantastically drawn comic. The story looks completely compelling. And they're putting a lot of work into this. It is black and white right now, but I am telling you right now, that does not detract from the quality. Every time we've checked out the Black Noblis and we see the new entries in it, we just see how hard they're pushing to give you guys a fantastic story. So if you guys want a webcomic to go check out for free, go to globalcomics.com or just go to the link in the description make it easy on yourselves all right another one that we voted on last week was exodus z issue one over on indiegogo this one's got 21 days left it hasn't quite hit the funding goal yet but we voted on it for a reason checked it out and there's a lot of good stuff in exodus z that i think a lot of people would like to check out and that's probably why it got voted on uh out of all of the projects and made the top four for last week's comic shop wednesday next up was probably the first video game that we've ever voted on uh and brought into the top four but this is an independent game over on steam this is sprawl sprawl is a first person shooter that harkens back to the days of the old school first person shooters think of doom uh and other uh shooters like that there's other ones out there that i can't bring to my mind because i'm drawing a blank it's probably all the beer hmm 
But go and check out Sprawl, guys. It's not even $15 to go purchase it on Steam, and it looks absolutely fantastic. If you guys are, saw the footage on the screen, hopefully that was enough to get you guys interested. And for less than $15, it might be worth it to check it out. And finally, to wrap up this segment of the week, we've got Discord. Discord is also... Uh, a fantastic project that we did vote on last week. It made the top four as well. And Discord is about a musical superhero who can hear the music of people's souls. And that guides him through his fights. He's also tracking down uh, personal things from his past, as well as fighting the underworld of child trafficking in Atlanta. Uh, that is the setting for Discord. And hopefully that is a story that you guys will absolutely love. I This is one of the projects that I'm personally going to try to back. I can't back every project, guys. I see hundreds of them a week at this point. I mean, just tonight, we've covered quite a few. But this project here speaks to me, a musical superhero, and you can absolutely see the influences that the writer and artist had from Nightwing, who was one of my favorite superheroes growing up, uh, watching a lot of the TV shows and stuff. So... Hopefully, you guys are able to go check out Discord and see what that is all about. So, ladies and gentlemen, that wraps up week two of the Iron Age News Roundup. I want you guys to tell me what you think about this whole segment. Please, it would be absolutely awesome if you would share this video. Again, YouTube doesn't know what the Iron Age is, but you do, and other people do, and so many more people than just you know and if you guys would share this for me, tag some people that you think would be interested in this. Share, you know, send it in a DM to somebody. You're like, hey, you're looking for good comics. But guys, share this video because honestly, last week, I was worried that this was going to get like 50 views. No, it got several hundred. You guys were able to make that happen because the YouTube algorithm is the YouTube algorithm. But you guys aren't an algorithm. And you guys proved to me last week that you can help me out quite a bit by just sharing it for me. You guys came out in force for me, and I had the biggest smile on my face seeing all of that. So thank you guys all for your support and help to bring some more fans into this community. We've got a lot of authors. We've got a lot of creators. Let's bring some fans in here. So if you guys know some fans, bring them in. Send them to a drink with crazy. And hopefully I'll steer you guys right. But as always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for tuning in. And until next time, cheers, everybody. Thank you all so much for checking out this video. And I would ask, beg, borrow, and steal just to get you guys to click the links down in the description below to join my Gilded server and my drinkwithcrazy.locals.com. Oh, and by the way, just in case you guys didn't know, I'm also over on Rumble as well, so click that link while you're down there. See you next time.